Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet, so if that interests you, please sit back and watch this video because today, my friends, I offer you a tutorial for a beanie. So on this most recent Sunday Live, we spun the wheel for stitches, and I told you guys during that Sunday Live that I would be creating a beanie with those stitches. And so I would be reaching out to the viewers of the channel for ideas for a name. And uh, I will be picking a winner using the random comment picker. And the only request that I have is that the name of the beanie is geared towards kindness. So any form of kindness um, could be a potential idea for name of this beanie. So... Again, I will be using the random comment picker. If you are chosen, you have the choice of one of the three Stenley cakes here. And so the first one here is a Stenley star drop. It's a candy star drop, sorry. And this is 350 grams at 900 meters. It's super nice. It's got the Lorex in there. It's cotton. It's really nice. And then this next one here is a Stenley candy cake. It is 100% soft cotton. It's 280 grams at 900 meters. And then the third choice you have, if you win, is this cotton star cake. So this here is 90% natural soft cotton and 10% Lorex. It is 270 grams at 1,000 meters. Super nice. So if you are the winner, then you would have to email me at wandtheyarnaddict.com with your contact information so I can mail this out to you with your choice. You have to tell me which one of the three that you want if you win. So you don't have any limits whatsoever. If you have 10 different names, sound off in the comments. Um, and so, yes, this here is the project that I just completed using the stitches we spun for on the Sunday Live. And so what we have here are the half double crochet, double crochet, windows, twins in a stitch, and half double cross. And I repeat the pattern three times here. And then I finish off with a single crochet in the back loop, just for finishing touches. And so this is what it looks like. Super nice. Now, this beanie was made in acrylic, but feel free to use whatever you'd like. Wool, cotton, a cotton blend, you can use acrylic. This is a medium four weight yarn and I used a six millimeter crochet hook for this. This hook right here, and this is the yarn. I mentioned the yarn again in the tutorial, but um, Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. Now this was a brand new skein when I started and this is how much I have left. So it doesn't take a lot of yarn either. It's super light, it is airy, the windows, gives us the ventilation that we need, so it is super nice. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna jump right into that tutorial. Have fun, guys. Okay, friends, so for today's tutorial, I'm gonna be using a medium four rate yarn. This is Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in their colorway anthracite, super nice. And the hook I'm gonna be using is a six millimeter crochet hook. And to get started, what we need to do is create a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely fine. This is how I do it. And it should look like that. Now from here, we're gonna chain four. So it's one, two, three, and four. And what we're gonna do is take the tip of our crochet hook and go into the first chain, draw up a loop, and slip to close, just like that. So I take the tail and I pinch it against the chain pull that apart to form a little circle there. And from here, we're gonna just chain one. Now what we wanna do is we wanna work 12 double crochets in this circle here. So yarn over, go into that circle, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two loops, just like that. That's a double crochet. We're gonna do that again. So yarn over, go into the circle, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. 
So I'm going to do another one without speaking so you can see what I'm doing. I'll do another one here, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So I have four in the circle right now. Continue going until you have a total of 12. And I will meet you at the end of round one. Okay, friends, so once you have 12 double crochets, this is what it should look like. Now, the very first stitch of the round is actually tilted towards you. It's this V right here. So what you want to do is you want to take the tip of your crochet hook and go into that V very carefully, going through that front loop and then going through that back loop, just like that. And what you want to do is you want to draw up a loop and slip to close, and that ends round number one. From here, to start round number two, we're going to chain one. That does not count towards a stitch. It just elevates us to the next round. And so for round number two, we're gonna do half double crochets. And so we're gonna do twins in a stitch in every stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch we just came out of, which is right here, go in, draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and go through all three loops just like that. And to make a twin, you're going to yarn over, go into that stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops just like that. We'll do it one more time. You're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three and you're going to do that one more time to make a twin so yarn over go in draw up a loop yarn over and go through all three just like that so we'll do one more set of twins and then i will let you go to complete the rest of round number two so you're going to go in draw up a loop yarn over go through all three yarn over go into the stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through all three so continue with that, and I will see you at the end of round number two. Okay, friends, so we should have a total of 24 half double crochets for round number two, all twins in a stitch, as you see here, and this is what the back looks like. Okay, so to close out round number two, what we wanna do is insert the tip of our crochet hook into the first stitch of round two, which is right here. We're gonna go right into that V, picking up the front and the back loop, just like that. We're going to draw up a loop, slip through to close round number two, just like that. So for round number three, we're gonna jump back to the double crochet. So what we wanna do is chain two, and we're gonna go back into the stitch we just came out of to create a standalone. Now this chain two does not count as a stitch, it just elevates us to where we need to be for round number three. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch we just came out of, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So that is considered a standalone stitch, just one stitch by itself. And next door here, we're gonna do twins in a stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, and then we're going to do that one more time in the same stitch. We're making a twin. So yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So right now we should have a standalone and twins in a stitch. So next we're going to do a standalone and that's going to be the repeat. So it's going to be a standalone and twins, standalone and twins all the way around for round number three. So we have the standalone there. Next door here, we're going to do twins in a stitch. So two double crochets. And then after the twins, we're going to go back to the standalone. And then next door, we're going to do twins in a stitch. Two double crochets. And so that's what this is looking like. So we have a standalone and twins, standalone and twins, standalone and twins. So continue doing that, and I shall see you at the end of round number three for a total of 36 double crochets. 
Okay, friends, so I am at the end of round number three. I have 36 double crochets. And to close out round number three, what we need to do is insert the tip of the crochet hook into the first stitch, going through the front loop and the back loop. We're going to draw a loop and slip to close. And that closes out round number three. So to move on to round number four, we're going to alternate and go back to the half double crochet. So we're going to just chain one, and then we're gonna start by going into the stitch we just came out of with a standalone stitch. So we're going to yarn over, we're gonna go into that first stitch, drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three. So there's the standalone. Now we're going to go next door with another standalone. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three for the second standalone. And now we're going to do twins in a stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through all three. There's one. And now we're gonna finish this off by doing another half double crochet in the same stitch for a twin. So yarn over, go into that same stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. So standalone, standalone, twins in a stitch. And then we're gonna continue that pattern all the way around. So we're gonna do a standalone, a standalone, twins in a stitch. Just like that. So if you have to rhyme to yourself to make it work, that's fine too. So it'll go standalone, standalone, twins in a stitch. Standalone, standalone, twins in a stitch. And you're gonna continue doing that all the way around for a total of 48 half double crochets. So I'll do one more with you. So yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through all three. So that's a standalone. Let's do it again. Another standalone. And now twins in a stitch. So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of round number four for a total 48 stitches. Okay friends, so I just finished round number four. We have a total of 48 half double crochets. And so to close out the round, like before, we need to take the tip of our crochet hook and go into the first stitch, picking up the front loop and the back loop. We're going to go in there, draw up a loop and slip to close. And that concludes round number four. So to do round number five, what we need to do is go back to the half double crochet. We're going to chain two and it will not count. And what we wanna do is go into the stitch we just came out of with a double crochet. So yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So the pattern is going to be standalone, 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 twins in a stitch. So three standalones and twins in a stitch for round number five. So let's go ahead and do the three standalones. That's two. And that's three. And now this next stitch is going to get twins. So we're going to yarn over and go in, do our double crochet. Then we're going to yarn over and go back in that same stitch and do another double crochet. And that's the repeat, three standalones and twins in a stitch. So standalone, standalone, standalone. So three standalones and then twins in a stitch. Just like that. Three standalones, twins in a stitch three standalones, twins in a stitch. So continue with that, and I will see you at the end of round number five for a total of 60 stitches. Okay, friends, so I finished round number five. We have a total of 60 double crochets. This is what we're looking like on the front side, and this is what we're looking like on the back side. Super nice. Okay, so to close out round number five, what we need to do is go to the first stitch of the round, insert our hook, picking up the front and the back loop, drop a loop, 
and slip to close. And that closes out round number five. So the magic number for our beanie today is 60 stitches. And that is what we have, so we will no longer be increasing. So for round number six, what we're gonna do is half double crochet windows. So to get started, what we're gonna do is chain one. And then we're gonna start by going into the stitch we just came out of with a half double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. And then we're going to chain one and skip one and go into the following stitch. So we're gonna skip and go in here and do a half double crochet, chain one, skip one, and go into the next stitch with a half double crochet. So they're not large windows, they're smaller windows, still nice. So we're going to chain one, skip one, go into the next stitch with a half double crochet. And we're going to repeat that all the way around round number six. So half double crochet windows is what this is. Super easy and it goes super quick. So each chain does count as a stitch. So you should have 30 half double crochets and 30 chains. Okay, so continue doing this and I will see you at the end of round number six. Okay friends, so I am approaching the end of round number six. I have 59 stitches in the round so far and I have a half double crochet that I just finished there as stitch number 59. So to get stitch number 60, we're going to chain one. And that is the 60th stitch of the round. Um, as I said previously, all half double crochets and chains do count as stitches. So from here, what we need to do is close out round number six. So to do that, we're gonna take the tip of our crochet hook, go into the head of the stitch, of the very first stitch here. We're gonna go in, draw up a loop, and slip to close. And that concludes round number six. Okay, that's what the other side looks like. So nice. Okay, to start round number seven, we're gonna do a round of double crochets. So we're gonna do twins in a stitch, uh, two double crochets in every chain space. Super, super simple for round number seven. To get started, we're going to chain two. This does not count as a stitch. It's to elevate us to the level that we need to be for round number seven. So to get started, we're gonna jump right into this chain space right here. We're gonna do, do two double crochets. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the chain space, do a double crochet, yarn over, go back into the chain space and do another double crochet, just like that. And we're gonna do that to every chain space of the round. You should have 30 sets of twins. So you're gonna go in, double crochet, and go back in and do it again, just like that. So continue doing that for round number seven, twins in a stitch in every chain space, two double crochets in every space. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of round number seven. Okay friends, so I am finishing up round number seven here. I have one chain space left to put twins in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two double crochets in that chain space, otherwise known as twins in a stitch. And that concludes the stitches needed for round number seven. So to close out round seven, we're gonna take the tip of our crochet hook, go into the first stitch, draw up a loop and slip to close. And there we have it. So as you can see, it's starting to cup up and that is okay because we are making a beanie. So let's flip this over and see what the back side looks like. Super nice. Okay. All right, so for round number eight, we're gonna do the half double cross stitch. So to get started, what we need to do is chain one. That does not count. And from here, what we wanna do is we wanna skip the first stitch and go into the second one. Once we complete the stitch for this stitch, side here we're going to revert back to the very first stitch so we're going to yarn over skip this very first stitch go into the second one here with a half double crochet go in drop a loop you'll have three loops on your hook 
yarn over and go through all three. And then we're going to yarn over and go back to the stitch we just skipped. Insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three. And you'll notice a mini cross there. So from here, we're going to go into the next set of twins, yarn over, skip the very first one, go into the second one, half double crochet, then yarn over and go back to the skipped stitch, half double crochet. It's very simple. We're going to yarn over, skip the next stitch, go into the following one there with a half double crochet, yarn over, go into the skipped stitch, half double crochet just like that. And you'll see little crosses there. Super, super easy. And if you lose your way, just remember, look at the twins. There should be a cross above the twins. Okay, so yarn over, skip this stitch, go into the next one there, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through all three, yarn over, go into the skipped stitch of the twin, yarn over and complete your half double crochet. So continue doing that. And I will see you at the end of this round. Round number eight, half double cross, and you should have 30 crosses. Okay, so I'll see you at the end of round number eight. Okay, friends, so I am closing in on round number eight. We have 30 half double crosses. This is what the one side looks like. This is what the other side looks like. Lots of texture, super nice and the windows aren't that big, which is also nice. Okay, so let's close out round number eight by going into the very first stitch of the round, which is right here. So we're going to insert our hook, draw up a loop, and slip to close. There we go. And so for round number nine, we're going to do a round of half double crochets one half double crochet in every stitch of the round, super easy. We're going to chain one, that does not count. That's gonna just bring us to the level that we need to be at. And so from here, we're gonna go into the stitch we just came out of with a half double crochet, yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three, and that's it. So yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through all three. So I'm going to do a few silently just so you can see what I'm doing. And that's pretty much it for this round. So you're going to need a total of 60 stitches. So go ahead and continue on doing half double crochets for round number nine and I will see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, we're closing in on round number nine. So we have a total of 60 half double crochets for round nine. And what we wanna do is insert the tip of our crochet hook into the first stitch of the round, draw up a loop, and slip to close just like that. And from here, what we want to do is repeat the last four rows. That is going to be the repeat of the project here. So for round number 10, we're going to do half double crochet windows. So to get started, what we want to do is chain one. And then what we want to do is go into the stitch we just came out of, just like we did here. Yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, go through all three, chain one and skip one and go to the next stitch with a half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet in the next one. And you will have a smaller version of the double crochet windows. So half double crochet windows um, for round number 10. Half double crochet, chain one, skip one, half double crochet in the next stitch. So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of round number 10. 
Okay, friends, so I'm closing in on the end of round number 10. So I have 59 stitches here with a half double crochet. And from here, we're going to chain. That chain does count as stitch number 60. We're going to go over the last stitch of the previous round. And we're going to connect by going into the first stitch. So take the tip of your crochet hook, go into the first stitch, draw up a loop, and slip to close, just like that. So for round number 11, we're just following the pattern here. So we're going to do uh, double crochets in all of the chain spaces. So to start, we're going to chain two, which does not count as a stitch. It's only elevating us to where we need to be. And from here, we're going to go into the first chain space right here. We're going to do two double crochets. It's one. And two. We're going to go into the next one here, two double crochets. And you're going to do this to every chain space of the round here. So yarn over, go into the chain space and do a double crochet. Yarn over another double crochet, twins in a stitch in every chain space, okay? So continue doing this, and I shall see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, so I'm closing in on the end of round number 11, so I have one chain space left here. I'm gonna go ahead and put twins in that chain space there, just like that. Okay, so from here, I'm going to connect the tip of my crochet hook to the very first stitch. I'm going to go in, drop a loop, and slip to close. And that concludes round number 11. So based on the history here, for round number 12, we're going to do half double crosses right here. So to start the next round, round number 12, we're going to chain one. It does not count. We're going to look at the twins here. Skip the first one, go to the second one with a half double crochet. We're going to yarn over and go into the first twin that we missed. Half double crochet. Jump to the next twin, skip the first one, go into the second one, half double crochet. Yarn over and go into the first one. It's pretty simple, okay? So let's go to the next twin here get some more yarn. Skip the first one, go into the second one with a half double crochet. Yarn over and go into the skipped one, half double crochet. So continue that and I will see you at the end of this round. You should have a total of 30 half double crosses, okay? I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, so we're closing in on round number 12, half double crosses. That's what we're looking like so far. Lots of texture, very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this one off here. So we're going to take the tip of our crochet hook and go into the first stitch of the round, which is right here. Not this little blip here, that's the chain one. So we're gonna go into the stitch, draw up a loop and slip to close. And that concludes round number 12. So for round 13, we're going to do a round of half double crochets. So to start, we're going to chain one, does not count. We're going to yarn over and go into the stitch we just came out of and do a half double crochet. Every stitch of the round will receive a half double crochet. Just like this. You're going to need a total of 60 half double crochets for the round. 60 is our magic number. So continue on with this and I will see you at the end of the round. Just like that. Okay friends, so we're closing in uh, on round 13. So to close this off, we're gonna take the tip of our crochet hook, go into the first stitch Drop a loop and slip to close. And if history serves us correctly, we're gonna go ahead and do a round of half double crochet windows. So we're starting yet another repeat, okay? So I'm gonna stick with you until the end, friends. I'm not going to leave you here. So we're going to chain one 
and we're going to go into the very first stitch of the round with a half double crochet just like that we're going to chain one and skip one half double crochet in the next stitch just like that chain one skip one half double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one half double crochet in the next stitch and it should look just like that okay so the chains and the stitches all count as stitches you're going to need a total of 60 stitches uh, for this round and so I will see you at the end of the round half double crochet windows okay friends so I'm closing in on the end of round number 14 so I have 59 stitches chain one that's the 60th stitch we're going to go into the first uh, stitch of the round which is that half double crochet there we're going to go in draw up a loop slip to close and we're going to move on to the next uh, stitch for the next round here which is uh, twins in a stitch uh, double crochets so let's chain two we're going to go right into this chain space here and we're going to do two double crochets in the chain space just like that we're going to jump right over into the next uh, window there twins in a stitch right there twins just like that okay so continue doing this you're going to have 30 sets of twins sitting on top of the windows there all right so continue with that and i will see you at the end of this round okay friends so i am closing in on round number 15 so i put twins in the last set of windows there and so we're going to take the tip of our crochet hook and go into the very first stitch of the round draw up a loop slip to close and what we're going to do is the half double cross stitch so we're going to chain one and we're going to look at the twins here we're going to skip the first one and go into the second one here with a half double crochet so yarn over go into that second stitch half double crochet yarn over go back into the skipped stitch with a half double crochet and you have a cross there half double cross and we're going to do that to every uh, set of twins there so we're going to skip the first one go to the second one half double crochet yarn over go into the skipped stitch with a half double crochet just like that we're going to continue doing that for this round you're going to have 30 half double crosses just like that and I will see you at the end of this round okay okay friends I have reached the end of round number 16 and so we had 30 sets of half double crosses as you can see here super nice and what we want to do is go into the very first stitch of the round insert our hook drop a loop and slip to close and so to get to round number 17 we're going to chain one and we're going to do a round of half double crochets so we're going to yarn over and go into the stitch we just came out of drop a loop yarn over and go through all three and we're going to continue that for every stitch of the round you're going to need 60 half double crochets just make sure you're going into all of the stitches with a half double crochet just like this so continue on with half double crochets in every stitch and I shall see you at the end of the round okay friends so we have approached the end of round number 17 and so what we need to do is take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the very first stitch of the round draw up a loop and slip to close and now um, that will conclude our repeats so as you can see we repeated the pattern three times one two and three 
So for round number 18, we're going to do another round of half double crochets. So we're going to chain one, and we're going to go into the stitch we just came out of with a half double crochet. And we're going to continue doing the half double crochet in every stitch of the round, just like this. Yarn over, go in, drop a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all three. And you're going to do that for every stitch of round number 18. Okay? So continue doing that, and I shall see you at the end of round 18. Okay, friends, so I'm at the end of round number 18, half double crochets. And so to close out round number 18, we're going to insert the tip of our crochet hook into the first stitch of the round. We're going to drop a loop and slip to close. And for the final round, we're going to do single crochets in the back loop. Okay, so we're going to chain one and we're going to go into the top of the stitch that we just came out of picking up just the back loop right there, picking up the back loop, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through two. We'll do that again. So go into the back loop, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two. This is just to give it a finishing look. So back loop, single crochet, very simple. You're going to do this to every stitch of the round for a total of 60 single crochets in the back loop for the final round. And as you can see, it's got that, just that little touch for finishing. Okay, so continue doing single crochets in the back loop. It's totally optional. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. But yes, yeah, single crochets in the back loop a total of 60 stitches and I shall see you at the end of round number 19. Okay friends, so I reached the end of round number 19 and that is the last round of our project and so um, what we want to do is close off our project here. So what we need to do is go into the back loop of our project here and what we want to do is go into that loop draw up the loop there and slip to close and from here what we want to do is chain two so one and two just like that from here what we want to do is cut a tail just like that we're going to pull the hook away from our work and what we want to do is squeeze these two chains into our work so we're going to hold the one side pinch and pull down Nice and tight. And now we're going to sew in our end, going over the eye of the needle. Pinch super tight, feed that through, and then turn our work to the inside here. And we're going to feed the needle through the stitches. And it's best to go in between the fibers there. It kind of holds everything in the place. So I go in one direction and then I go back the opposite direction. And then I make one final pass going the other way. So I call it like a zigzag technique. There we go. And then I take the shears, the scissors, and just cut that, just like that. And then in the center here, we have this tail here. Now I worked over the tail, so all I'm gonna do is just pull that super tight. It's gonna close that up and make it super, super tight. And then I'm going to take the scissors and cut that off. And so that is that. Okay, so that concludes this beanie. Super, super nice. It's got, let me back the camera up a little bit. 
there we go. So it's got, there we go. It's got three sets of repeats here. One set there, one set there, one set there, and then this crown that has the double crochets and the half doubles alternating. Super nice. This was a lot of fun to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We're doing lots of fun things like this, and if this interests you, please stick around. Subscribe, I would love to have you. And then of course, make sure to hit the notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. That is all for this one. Until the next one, uh, take care, friends. Bye-bye.